Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday. T -t 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 Tuesday. T -t 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 Tuesday. T -t 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 Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I am so excited to see all of my friends here today. I have missed you so much. Some of you might not know my name. I have tried really hard to go all around the building and meet everyone, but I know that I've missed at least one or two of you. So I wanted to start off by introducing myself. My name is Mrs. Jarman, and I teach Little Hornets 1, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday class, and the Tuesday, Thursday class. And I help out in Little Hornets 3 with Mrs. Harvey. So if you are in Little Hornets 4, Little Hornets 5, or Little Hornets 2, the morning or the afternoon class, you might not know me. So if you don't, it's so nice to meet you. Again, my name is Mrs. Jarman, and we are going to have so much fun today. So today we're going to sing one of my favorite songs, which I call the Good Morning Song. And since I can't see every single one of you, and there are so many of you that we might forget some names, we're going to sing our song a little bit differently today. I'm going to start off by singing about my friends. If you know this song, sing along with me. My friends are here today. My friends are here today. Let's say hello to all my friends. My friends are here today. Good morning, friends. And the teachers are here today. The teachers are here today. Let's say hello to the teachers. The teachers are here today. Good morning, teachers. And I wonder if there are any parents here today. The parents are here today. The parents are here today. Let's say hello to the parents. The parents are here today. Good morning, parents. I'm wondering if there are any brothers and sisters or siblings here today. The siblings are here today. The siblings are here today. Let's say hello to the siblings. The siblings are here today. Good morning, siblings. I'm wondering if there are any grandparents here today. The grandparents here today. The grandparents are here today. Let's say hello to the grandparents. The grandparents are here today. Good morning, grandparents. I'm wondering if there are any ants here today. The ants are here today. The ants are here today. Let's say hello to the ants. The ants are here today. What about uncles? Are there any uncles here today? The uncles are here today. The uncles are here today. Let's say hello to the uncles. The uncles are here today. Good morning, uncles. Now, let's sing to everybody. Ready? Everyone's here today. Everyone's here today. Let's say hello to everyone. Everyone's here today. Good morning, everyone. I'm it's time for us to check the weather. And guess what? Every single one of you today can be a weather person. If you want to be the weather person, I want you to pause this video and go over to the window and go look outside. Look at the sky. What do you notice? Are there clouds? Is there a sun? Is it raining? Is it snowing? If you can, open the window or open the door and feel what it feels outside. How does it feel? Is it cold? Is it warm? What would we wear today? When you're ready, come on back. All right, if you are ready, let's sing our weather song. Get your hands ready and sing. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather outside? Is it rainy? Is it sunny? What's the weather outside? All right, my friends. What did you notice about the weather today? I noticed some of those same things. All right, my friends, now we are going to talk about a letter today. And we are going to talk about a letter that says its name. So sometimes we have letters who say their name and they're so easy for us to remember, and sometimes we don't. We're gonna start by talking about the letter D, and letter D says D, D, D. So we are going to make an uppercase letter E and a lowercase letter D and see what we notice. I'm going to start with the upper. 
uppercase letter D. The uppercase letter D starts with a big line down, hop to the top, and a big curve around. That is the uppercase letter D. Now, we are going to make the lowercase letter D. The lowercase letter D starts with a big line down, hop to the middle, and a little curve around. And they both say D, D, D. Say that with me. D, D, D. When I make the sound D, I put my tongue right behind my teeth and I blow air very quickly through my mouth to make the D, D, D sound. This, my friends, is the uppercase letter D. And this, my friends, is the lowercase letter D. And let's see, can you help me draw it in the air? All right, get your sky writers ready. Start at the very top. We're gonna start with the uppercase letter D, which looks like this. Start at the top, do a big line down, hop to the top, and a big curve around. Oh, wow. That was amazing. You really made that letter D. Erase it, erase it, erase it, erase it. Okay, let's try this one. What was that one again? You're right, the lowercase letter D. All right, get your sky raiders ready. We're gonna start at the top and do a big line down, hop to the middle, and a little curve around. That's right, you just made the lowercase letter D. All right, erase it, erase it, erase it. Oh my goodness, you guys worked so hard to write the letter D. Can you remember, can you remember, what sound does the letter D make? Can you make it for me? D, D, D. I hear you making that sound. And remember, letter D is for dog and dinosaur and dad and dig. All right, little hornets, it's time for us to read our morning message. I'm going to point to the words as we read. I want you to follow along. We are going to start in the upper left-hand corner, which is down here, right? No, it's over here. No, you're right. It's all the way up here by the uppercase letter D. Some of you saw that letter and you knew exactly what it was. All right. Read with me if you can. It says, Dear Little Hornets, Today is Tuesday. Did you eat donuts for breakfast? Love, Mrs. Jarman. That asked you a big question. Show me a big thumbs up if you ate a donut for a breakfast and a big thumbs down if you did not. I did not have a donut for breakfast. I ate eggs this morning. I noticed that there are some letter D's in our morning message. Can you get on your word detective spectacles, remember those are glasses, and help me find the letter D's? I'm gonna start at the very top. When you see a letter D, I want you to say stop. Okay, here we go. Let's start right here. Oh, ready? You're noticing one? You're right. And is this an uppercase letter D or a lowercase letter D? It's an uppercase letter D. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Remember, tell me when to stop. Hmm. No, you're right, nothing. I'm gonna change my marker color so it's easier to see. I missed one? You're right, there is another letter D right there. Is that one an uppercase or a lowercase letter D? It is a lowercase letter D. It has a big line down and a little curve around at the bottom. All right, I'm gonna keep looking for more letter Ds. What, there's another one? Where? <gasps> You're right. There's another letter D. And tell me, is that the uppercase letter D or the lowercase one? Let's look at it. It has a big line down and a little curve around. It is a lowercase letter D. All right, let's keep going. Whoa, that was really fast, my friends. 
This is another letter D. And that one is an uppercase letter D. What do you mean I need to stop again? Oh, you're right, there's another one. But this one isn't an uppercase, it's a lowercase. Wow, you guys have been really practicing your letter Ds. Here we go. Let's see, I think we're probably done. I don't think there are any. There's another one? Oh my gosh, where? Right here at the beginning of the word d, d donuts. You are right. Donuts for. Oh, you're right. I didn't ask you. What is this? Is it an uppercase letter D or a lowercase letter D? It is a lowercase letter D. It has that big line down and the little curve around. Let's keep going. I'm going to change my marker again. Mm, now. I don't see any others. Some of you I heard say to stop right here. And this one looks similar to a lowercase letter D, but it has the little curve on the other side. Look at how this curve is looking at the word that it, we just read. And this curve is looking at the word that we're going to read. This is a lowercase letter B, and it says B, B, B. So this one, I'm going to erase my lines, is not a lowercase letter D. Now, let's use our counting fingers. Get your counting finger out. And we're going to touch each D and count and see how many there are. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six letter D's on our board. I'm going to write that number right here. Six letter D's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, let's count and find out how many uppercase letter D's. Remember, uppercase letter D is a big line down, hop to the top, and a big curve around. Let's find out how many there are. One, two. There are two uppercase letter D's. Let's find out how many lowercase letter D's there are. One, two, three, four. <gasps> four, okay, four is a little line, a little line, and a big line. Wow, four lowercase letter D's, two uppercase letter D's. I know Mrs. Burton's class adds a plus and an equal sign because if we have four lowercase letter d's and we add one two uppercase letter d's how many do we have six you are right one two three four five six my friends it was so good to see you today thank you so much for playing with me i will see you again on thursday have a great afternoon